Thanks to Ramon Felice's secret Buckle files, up, we now have enough dirt to ruin El Cardinal's reputation for good. Let's bring this monster down. Why are we meeting here? El Cardinal's gonna give a sermon to the Bolivian public to calm them about the child trafficking, but we've got the means to discredit the cartel. Show this video to that congregation, things will melt down quick. After that, snatch and grab Cardinal, bring him to the RP. Roger that, we'll see you there. This thumb drive's got video evidence that the cartel is smuggling children. You broadcast this shit while the Cardinal's giving the speech. Shit, they'll go from following him to calling for his blood. And he'll either leave with us or stay and get strung up. Yo, keep it quiet. We raise any alarms, we lose our shot. Civilians around. Target is down. How many of you sell your How many of you find her? Grab this asshole before the crowd gets him. The labor under extremely hard conditions. 
The lieutenant's running away. Silencio, watching. In the name of God. God's got nothing to do with this Carmel. It's over. You want to get out of here once piece, we're your only option. Understand? Yes. Yes, of course. Anything you say, just get me out of here. Some of these, as young as five years old, are sent to La Santa. Call Pacatori for some reinforcements. Okay, amigo. Almost there. The selling of Bolivia's Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Copy. Must end now. Target eliminated. Santa Blanca's church is a profession of Santa Muerte, of capitalism. And it must be torn down, stone by stone. Ready? Open fire. Welcome. We cannot afford to tolerate them in our country. Copy. One moment more. No more Santa Blanca in Bolivia. Orale, salgan hijos de la chingada. Copy that. Moving. Target acquired. Eyes on the target. Good to go. Target down. Nothing to shoot at. Let's go. Keep it moving, Padre. Bob it. on mission. I brought the congregation to Sueño because he's a true believer. He knows that I bring the true word of God. Isn't vanity one of the seven sins, Padre? I am no longer wasting my time talking to you. The lips of wisdom are closed, except to the ears of understanding. You are too small-minded to understand. What the hell happened with DJ Perico? Que loco with Pacatari's speech and shit. Sueño looks like a bitchy idiota now. Come here. I bet he feels like one too. Our priest has taken a vow of silence. You should actually read that when you're in prison. La conozco. No te apures. If a sinner chooses to worship at my church, if he chooses to pray with me, it is my duty to God to help the flock find its way. It does not make me a criminal. No. Money laundering makes you a criminal. Your church is built on a foundation of trafficking in white powder and kids. I felt horrible about those children. If that's true, then confess. 
right here with me. Absolve yourself of your sins. May God forgive me. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. A team of Sicarios here, inside the Hacienda. I'm getting a position. I'm moving to position. position. Target acquired. Roger that. Stand Target marked. marked. Shit, I gotta find a good position. Machine guns. Ready. Call the shot. Opening fire. I got a narco over here. Okay, we're over still at the good. dump. Chopper's approaching. I got a Sicario over here, next to the dump. Another. That's five. I'm getting, getting a position. I need to get to a better position. I got it. Roger. Moving to position. Target acquired. Target marked. Say the word. He's gone. to position. I've got them. You find a good position. Target acquired. I'm shooting these fuckers. Tango down. We're cool. We're cool. Spotting another tango. Tango number three. Looks like the boss's house. Let's go check it out.
Silencio, Marche. Pinche cabrón. Okay, we're still all right. How'd you like a free get out of death card? Ah, 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 me duele, me duele. I'll talk, okay? Just come down. Just earn some intel about a cartel network station. Let's find and deactivate. Getting a position. Need to get to a better position. Target marked. Roger. Target acquired. Kill confirmed. Supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Nobody here. Search the house, see if there's anything useful. Got a location here for a chemical institute run by the cartel. Looks like the Buchon himself is responsible for training the students. Let's check it out. I'm riding the motor. drone building up ahead looks like some kind of school that's the chemical institute via B gas the local oil and gas company used to train the locals and give them jobs once they graduated then of course a cartel showed up and that all changed let's see if we can find the boss in there Dad bird approaching. Stay down. HVT spotted. Looks like the local Buchan. Let's grab him and make him talk. Don't hurt me! Oh God, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I don't know anything. I swear, I'm just an assistant. An assistant to who? Marcus Jensen. He, he's the boss, you know? He runs everything. Where can I find him? He's supposed to be at the witch's market later, but I don't know when. Get on the phone. Arrange a meeting with him at the market. Tell him it's important. Then you let me go? That depends on how convincing you are. Hey, it's me. Look, there's something I need to show you. I can't tell you on the phone. Yes, it's important. Okay. 
He told me to meet him at the witch's market. In case you feel the need to call him back. Bowman, this is Nomad. The cartel patron in Libertad is a U.S. national named Marcus Jensen. Got it. Let me run the name and I'll see what comes up. Better make it quick. We're going after him now. We've ID'd the Buchon as an American national named Marcus Jensen. He's heading to a meeting at the... Nomad, I just uploaded a video for you. Should give you some background info on the local boss. Marcus Jensen majored in chemistry because that's where the steady careers were. Job security, health benefits, two weeks vacation, 401k. And best of all, people were hiring. Marcus got recruited right out of grad school by La Gringa. Sheltered guy that he was, thought he was getting a job with the SB Corporation, a multinational pharmaceutical company based in Bolivia, which, of course, it is. He just didn't realize what the product was. But when he finally figured it out, he decided it didn't really matter. He's making more in one month than his friends make in five years. And best of all, chicks. So many chicks. Almost as important, for the first time in his life, he's getting respect. Lagringa Station Marcus at the Chemical Institute in Libertad Province. Over the past three years, he's been teaching cartel members how to produce high quality cocaine. True, most of these idiots never made it past the second grade, but it appears they finally found a subject they're passionate about. As for Marcus, his rationalization is... Look, someone's gonna make the cocaine, someone's gonna make the money. It might as well be me, right? You are right, Marcus, just not for much longer. We're entering the witch market. El Mercado de las Brujas. This is where the locals come to buy good luck charms or love potions or even a curse for their enemies. No shit. Eyes up. If the intel is correct, Jensen could be here somewhere. What in the hell is a guy like Jensen looking for in a place like this? Whatever it is, it ain't good. Trust me. Eyes on Jensen. Take him alive. I'm a scientist. Hands. Show me your hands. Do it now. Goddamn fascists. You've got no right. I'm an American citizen. Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? <laughs> Shit, Jensen's getting away. The lieutenant's escaping. I'm engaging takeoffs. Get your goddamn hands off me! You try that shit again and I'll put a bullet in both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. Looks like Dengozo's place. Let's find a way in. This is bullshit. You can't just arrest somebody for going to a fucking market. Save it, Jensen. We know all about you and the cartel. What I don't get is this. You're a scientist, right? So what the hell were you doing at a place like the witch market? Processing cocaine isn't just about solvents and reagents. Not the way I do it, at least. I get powders from the brujos that speed the process along and make the result more potent. Yeah? Like what? Like, fuck you. That's proprietary information. You want my secret recipe, you gotta pay for it. Oh, I'm a scientist.
You got no fucking right, you hear me? You don't have any legal jurisdiction here. I mean, even if you did, I'm a U.S. citizen here on a legitimate work visa. You're facilitating the manufacture of an illegal substance. An illegal substance that provides income for a gang of rapists and murderers. Not my problem. I'm not holding a gun to someone's head. I'm not making anyone take any drugs. People make their own choices. That's what individual liberty is all about. Fair enough. Take this fuck outside and shoot him in the head. Wait! What the hell? You're right, Marcus. We don't have legal jurisdiction in Bolivia. So I'm gonna exercise my individual liberty and ask my associate here to blow your goddamn brains out. Wait, wait! You got something to say? Look, can we... Can we make some sort of a deal here? Sure we can. You tell me what I want to know, and I won't put a bullet in your sociopathic skull. Fuck! Fine! Fine! I'll tell you what you want to know. That's all I'm asking. Get the fuck down. Engaging. Roger. Let me get in position. The great writer Balsak once said, To have a family is to become hostage to fortune. I told El Yayo we had something in common. We're both too old to start over. Me to start a new organization. You to start a new family. Roger that. Target marked. It's Bowman. Looks like the damage you've done to the cartel's production network just paid another dividend. What's up? Forcing the Gringa and El Yayo to start cutting the purity of their cocaine has caused prices to drop and done a lot of damage to the cartel's rep. Sucks to be them. What's it do for us? We got La Gringa, but Sueño still needs a dog to kick. Yayo's managing production while the cartel keeps him prisoner in his own house. Extract El Yayo to an RP. Expect strong opposition. Word is the guards have orders to kill El Yayo if he tries to escape. Roger that. <laughs> El Yeyo's fallen out of favor with the cartel. Let's bring him in. It's time we made him an offer. Target acquired. Standing by. Got him. He's down. Yo, cartel gunman. There, inside the hacienda. Hold up, they're gonna see you. Spot you. I'm getting a position. Let me find a good position. I've got the target. Target acquired. Shit, I gotta find a good position. Hold up. Let me get a good sight line. Copy. Target marked. I don't have a shot. Sí, no, just... 
I'm moving to position. Target acquired. Standing by. on a tango. He's got a lot of background. Getting a position. Target marked. Target lost. We're good, we're good. giving yourself away. No, hear me out, por favor. I understand how long it usually... Vamanos, we're taking you someplace safe. I cannot leave. If El Sueño's men see that I'm gone, the cartel will kill my family. Buckle up, people. Good to go. You still haven't told me who you are. I have heard rumors about the phantasmas who are making buildings burn, making things disappear, making people disappear. I thought they were just being superstitious. We're real, and if you cooperate, we can protect you. I will cooperate, if you protect my family. This is one of those legal coca farms. So, like, can we get some... Where exactly are you taking me? There's someone who wants to ask you some questions about your activities with the cartel. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. But only once my family is safe. You understand? If not, you may as well take me back where you found me. Hey, it's you! Thank God you captured La Santera. Her Santa Muerte cult was making those Sicarios fearless. Crazy scary in a fight. I can do without that stress. So, like, can we get some legal coca here? For the altitude? For the altitude, yeah. <laughs> You're not having any coca. You know, first thing headquarters is gonna do when we get back home is make us piss in a cup. But the altitude, it's getting hard to breathe. Shut up. I should have known. CIA has brought in her own Sicarios. Simon Bolivar said the United States was destined to plague the Americas with misery. Now that misery is upon my house. He says Sueño has his family. You could have led with that. These four gunfighters are your best last hope at saving your family. So are you gonna play ball, or are you gonna bury more kin? Save my family. Then I decide if I will talk.
Yayo's family's in the cartel district of a village called Baya Floresta. We've got to move fast. So when you find he's gone, that family's dead. up on Baya Floresta. Yayo's wife and son are supposed to be somewhere in the village. Keep your eyes open. You got a tango with multiple civilians around. And baby makes three. The sniper's on the balcony. I called Pakatari for some reinforcements. Copy. Almost at your 20. I called for rebels to draw their attention. Copy that, Janky. Sending someone to that position. Moving to a good sight line. Roger. Target acquired. Get down before they see you. Watch for civilians. Opening fire. Kill somebody by mistake. We got a couple of narcos. That was fire. There, close. inside the building. Hang back, they see you. We poked the hornet's nest. The lieutenant's on the run. What's going on out there? My guest is getting antsy. You find Yayo's family? We're working on it. Understood. Just hurry, okay? It's gonna be damned ironic if the dude has a coronary waiting for his wife and son. Roger that. <laughs> Fucking hell! Taking a shot. tenemos que hacer para que nos ayuden, eh? Por favor, sea bueno y sáquenos de esto. Por favor, déjenme ir. Por lo menos déjenme avisarle a mi familia dónde estoy. Don't touch me. Calm down, Chewy. Your father sent us. You expect me to believe that? You can believe whatever the fuck you want as long as you shut up and follow instructions. Now follow me. Both packages secure. Let's get them back to their old man. That guy's history. safe now. Pucha, this is the old man's fault, isn't it? He's too greedy and too proud. A man cannot be both. Cállate, mijo. Rudy does his best for his family, for the cocaleros. How do we even know he's with you? How do we know he's safe? That you aren't using us to get to him, just like esos charros, esos mexicanos. I never said we weren't using you, but you are safe with us, and El Yayo is safe. I have seen la DEA and CIA do too much evil to my people. Do not expect me to trust you, Guru Gringos, Kumara Mamacoca. Viva Mamacoca! 
De tú los blanquiñosos. Well, I should have known better than to expect a thank you. Rodolfo. Mi Rosita, ¿estás bien? Sí, mi vida. Papá, what trouble have you gotten us into now, old man? We just got you out of trouble, kid. Don't expect us to believe that. Ustedes, blanquiñosos yankees, only bring problems to Bolivia. I may be too young to have marched with the Cocaleros in 96, but I have seen the scars on the protesters who were beaten. Oh, eat a dick. I'm sick of this anti-American bullshit. We're not your enemy, kid. But you're not our friend, either. Tranquilo, mijo. I have made deals with many devils in my time, and it has always been to protect my family, to ensure that my people, los Cocaleros, survive. Now I have made my deal with you, Agent Bowman. I'm sure to regret it later, but for now, it will allow us to see another day. Come and get what you want. Nobody's happy about it, but yeah, looks that way. Fucking ingrates. They know we saved their lives, right? All I know is the cartel's gonna have a hell of a time making cocaine without El Yayo. The rest is over my pay grade. I heard that. You cannot feed the hungry without food. You cannot heal the sick without medicine. And you cannot satisfy demand without a product. With the cocaine production in shambles, our market share was shrinking more and more every day. We increased prices, but it was a temporary solution. We would have to import from Peru and Colombia, invest heavier in meth and MDMA, a very costly and time-consuming endeavor. It would take years to rebuild. I had no choice. If workers were left unpaid for too long, there was no telling what they would resort to. But the biggest loser in all this was the people of Bolivia. Out of work with no means to support their families. All they could do was wait. Wait and see who was next to take possession of the coca fields. <laughs> 